Hey, this is Rob from Asus, and today we're unboxing something very cool. It's the X101, the slimmest netbook Asus has ever made. Spec-wise, the X101 features the latest Intel Atom N435 processor, good for about 1.33 GHz, 1 GB of DDR3 RAM, uh, upgradable to 2 GB, a 10-inch non-glare screen, and something that kind of harkens back to the original 7 and 9-inch days of Asus netbooks. That is an 8GB solid state drive. But there's a lot more to this netbook than meets the eye, so let's crack open the box and have a look. This is definitely the smallest computer packaging I've ever seen, and that should really give you a hint at just how portable the X101 is. So, to give you an idea, this is just 0.67 inches slim, and with the battery in, it weighs just over 2 pounds, 2.03 pounds to be exact. In terms of portability, the X101 rivals even the EPET slider that we unboxed last week. So inside the box, uh, first we've got our 3 cell battery, and this is good for about 4 hours on the X101. I'll just stick this in. And next we've got our warranty card, uh, user manual, and finally Something really cool on the X101 is instead of having a huge power brick, you get something that looks a lot more like a mobile phone charger. So it's a really great power adapter. It's going to be obviously a lot less weight to carry around if you want to have your adapter with you. So back to the X101 itself, let's have a look at some of the different inputs and outputs on this device. First on the left hand side, there's the power adapter right here and a USB 2.0 port. And on the right hand side, flipping it around, we've got a micro SD card reader, uh, another USB port, as well as a stereo and mic jack. And finally, there's a Kensington lock here as well to keep it secure if you're traveling, let's say. You'll note that the X01 doesn't really have any kind of VGA or HDMI out. And the reason for that is this is more of a portable web device, so you're not going to see uh, desktop replacement features that you might see in a notebook where you could hook this up to an external monitor, let's say. But um, definitely it's going to be a lot more suited to that ultra portable lifestyle. So let's open it up now and see what it looks like on the inside. And the first thing we'll notice on the inside is that there is a 0.3 megapixel camera up here. And also the screen is an anti-glare screen. So this is going to be way better for using outdoors. Um, on top of that, there's a really cool chiplet keyboard. So it's really nicely spaced out. And you also get this really great finish here as well, so it's a really nice keyboard to use. And it actually looks a lot like what you would find on the U36 SD, which is another ultra-slim notebook from Asus. But there's something else about the X101 that kind of harkens back to those original netbooks that Asus is famous for. And that is that this doesn't come with Windows 7. The X101 actually comes with a version of Linux. It's called Migo, and it's an OS that looks a lot more like your smartphone OS than, than it would like Windows. So what it is, it's more application based and it's going to be, first of all, a lot faster to load up. It's about 15 seconds to boot and it's a very different application sort of style. It's a totally different setup. So let's have a look at how that works. All of the major functions of the OS are laid out in these apps that you can access from the home screen. So uh, the first one you have here is called Zones. And this basically lets you switch between uh, open applications or close them. Uh, next you've got internet and it looks a lot like uh, Google Chrome. So you can basically um, switch between different uh, windows. It's a really familiar uh, browsing experience. I've also got status and this is your social media app. I've got Twitter set up here. You can also do Facebook, uh, Flickr, a few other different things. People is an instant messaging app, and we haven't got it set up, but it's pretty easy to get going. Uh, media, this is a place where you can uh, basically load music, videos, uh, podcasts, radio, that kind of thing. And there's a few uh, songs here that actually come included with Amigo. And applications. Uh, here you've got your uh, mail app, and this looks a lot like Outlook. It's extremely easy to set up too. Uh, you just change your email address and your password and it'll basically grab your inbox right away and get you going. Um, 
finally too, we have an Office uh, application. So this is included with Migo. Uh, it's openoffice.org. And what this is, is basically your MS Word equivalent. And this will save uh, MS Office documents, so you can open them in your Windows PC. And you can also, of course, do spreadsheets, presentations, that kind of thing. So uh, definitely all the kind of stuff you need if you're a student or need to get some documents done. And lastly, uh, you can see that Linux is a pretty familiar system. Uh, if you look at this, uh, you've got folders with thumbnails and an easy kind of drag and click system. So it's very friendly, uh, very easy to use. So this is going to be like your my computer on a Windows PC, but uh, it's basically like a cleaner, uh, simpler interface to use. You've also got your wireless, pretty easy to set up, and uh, a battery meter here conveniently in the corner. So this tells me I'm about 70% full, so I have probably just under three hours to remaining. So it's a pretty good amount of time left. So all in all, the X101 is probably the perfect ultra-portable device for someone who wants to do blogging or surfing the web on the go. This thing's going to fit uh, very nicely into your your bag or purse, that kind of thing. It's pretty much the ultimate ultra-portable computer. So if you guys want to learn more about it, definitely check out our blog in the info below. and. Uh, I should tell you as well, the really great thing about the Amigo, or the X11, is that this costs only $199. So it is extremely good value. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to ASUS ROG.